Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, so let's talk about validation rules. These things are actually really powerful and they're better than just simply making a field required. Unlike a required field, it doesn't just say that there needs to be data in this field. You can actually specify what kind of data is considered valid. So you essentially create your own formulas uh, that determine is this a good value in this field or not. And the way you set this up is by going into setup, going to the object manager and finding the object you care about. So if we want to create a validation rule on opportunities, we go to opportunities, go to the validation rule section and click the new button. And this is where we're going to create the validation rule. Now it's really creating a formula that ends up being true. If it's true, that's when you're going to get an error message. So you can give your validation rule a name, something so you know what it is, but really all the magic here happens within the formula. Now you can insert fields from that record into the formula. So is the dollar amount a certain thing? Is the close date uh, this month or tomorrow or in the past? So you can grab all these fields. Uh, you can even grab a field like record type ID. So if you want to know the record type on this opportunity, you can grab that field right there and insert it into the formula. Um, or you see how there's another option for record type with that little caret symbol at the end there? What's nice about that is you don't just get the ID of the record type, you can actually traverse the relationship and get something like the record type name. And so now I can make a formula that says, if this is an SMB record type, on our opportunity, then let's also check for some other things. So this is where you would really make the validation rule your own. In my case, I'm gonna say something like, if it's an SMB opportunity, then it should not be greater than a certain dollar amount. And if it is, we wanna throw an error because you know that indicates something's wrong here, okay? So you would check your syntax, make sure your formula looks good. But the real magic that you're looking for, the real helpful piece here, are those little carrots at the right of those field names. If you see that, what that means is you can actually go into that relationship and find other fields to pull into your formula. So you can grab the opportunity owner and go find their first name, their last name, their department, the number of days they've been at the company. Or you could do that with, let's say, record type, right? Get me the record type name, and you could use that in your formula field. Once your formula looks right, you can determine the error message you wanna use, and if the error shows up at the top of the page or right next to the field. And that's all there is to it. It's a really simple way to get record types into your validation rules.